Hi, how are you? So the situation at hand is this. I've already seen all of the clips for episode 5, save for the last clip. I also went ahead and got some wine. I actually haven't opened it yet. I want to gauge myself and find out how far into this episode I can go um, until I have to open that bottle. <laughs> this is going to be the opposite of a drunk reaction. This is going to be the try to stay sober reaction. You know what? I'm going to call it right now. I'm going to fail. We're going to start off with the first clip for episode uh, 5. We start off with a shot of Sana and she's trying to pray and I think incorporated now into her thoughts is Yusef. Despite her not really seeing him as someone that is very religious because he did just say that he no longer believes in Allah, she's suddenly remembering him in her time of prayer and so she starts to question these things. I think that a healthy amount of skepticism can go a long way and can really help you out. So. This is fine. Men jag har ju ändå det. Har jag? Nej, jag tror inte det. I don't trust the Sarah just saying. Men det blir shit gay då. Ja, det blir shit. Kommer mamma glös? Så vill ni. Ja, det blir. I hate this. I don't know how how often she would call people out for like being a little too TMI like she did with Vilde. Nej, Vilde. Fucking look. I don't understand why Vilde is like doing this. Vilde has kind of known Sana at this point for like two school years and a half, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Again, timelines, like, they're so disconnected for me. Nay, Vilde. Feller you at the same time Sara? Prøv to shoot you for us over. Wait, I have a. I have a dolly first. I'm annoyed that no one is like listening to Sana. Aren't you listening exactly to what she said? What she said earlier about the fact that well, Sara has the bus now. How, why? Why would they need to respect this contract if they have the bus now? They are more in numbers. They can. They can do it if they wanted to. They could out Sana. That's wrong. I don't know if you guys watch Survivor. If you don't, you should. That show is. The people with the numbers have the power. Especially if the people with the numbers has Sarah in them. I hate Sarah. <laughs> I don't hate that actress, don't worry. I'm not one of those people. I think that actress must be a fine person. I don't know her. Sarah I know. Sarah I hate. Hvordan har du liksom klart å få det russe greiene til å bli så innmari viktig for deg? That's a really good question. I think that's something that we're going to uh, figure out some time. One of the things that comes to mind is maybe the, just the fact that I think Sana wants a norm... Uh, well, I say normal, but you know what I mean? Like a, a more common, I think would be a better term, life that lives outside of, of, of Islam. What's awful right here though, and what's happening to Sana, is the fact that both sides of the lives that she wants to live, there are people that are like, that doesn't seem right. Or, can that be? Okay, we are close, and I have not opened the bottle of alcohol yet. Du snakker om venninne mine som de skulle vært kriminelle eller noe sånt. Det er ikke sånn at alle ikke-muslimer lyver og drikker og har masse sex. I think this is also one of the things that weighs down on her. The fact that she always has to defend one side to the other and vice versa. I, for as long as I could remember, have lived in a household with parents and people of the older generation who think that questioning their religion is an act of, to put it frankly, the devil. And so whenever I would have thoughts that were like, well, that doesn't sound right, I just didn't voice them out. The thing about the scene is that it is so reflective of many of the conversations that I've had with my parents, with other people. Some of Yusuf? Yeah, she told me that she saw you together. Oh, yeah. Han bare fylte meg hjem fra Nora. Men, like, vi hadde noen weird sexual tension. For du vet når du er trist, så er jeg så trist. God damn it, that's cute! Så vi kan nå proceed til, um, clip 5. Am I scared? A little bit. Before we go to that, though, of course I have an interruption. Because it's me. I saw my comments from yesterday. I'll respond to a few of them right now. Comments in time! Ugh. Yes, I did see those, uh, those, um, I, uh, <laughs> This is Stephanie right here. Funny, a Saturday we were having a conversation about Norwegian and, um, 
you know, common phrases, pronunciation, things like that. Because she told me that every time that she sees me update something on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. And uh, I write something in Norwegian, just like something very simple at the very bottom. She imagines me saying it. Um, and she thinks that I say it perfectly. I would like to think that I do, Stephanie. I don't know if this is something to be proud of, but I did say Masar was not in quite perfectly before. I don't know if I said it again that time well. And, uh, Stephanie, I'm about to attempt, uh, good luck right now, so click it till. Ikke va frek. Appropriate for a lot of situations, okay? Ikke va frek. Also, Isaac, when, uh, this was from a very terrible scene, but this stuck with me when he said, Vajen, no? Nei, What I said in my last video about Mikael not being homophobic simply because he rejected Evan's advances, I didn't mean to imply the opposite. I didn't want to say that Mikael was totally right in his, in his means of rejecting Evan. If what you have said is the most loyal to the events that transpired and the things that happened between Evan and Mikael, I mean, obviously, Mikael could have handled that situation with a little bit more finesse. However, I think that with Mikael was just an asshole move. I've yet to see solid evidence of Mikael being homophobic. Okay, I think we're done with the comments. Again, you guys, if you have anything, uh, any thoughts that you want to share, uh, my comment section is open to you. I also have Tumblr, I have Instagram, go on there. I'm on those two things a lot. I reply to people. I love interacting with other people about the scums. Um, <coughs> What's happening? Is he about to sing? What? Oh my god, no. Nope! <laughs> no! 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 Yeah, no. This is, uh, this is coming open. Delicious. Nope! One more shot. I got this. I had, like, a really good day yesterday. I am, I'm relaxed. I can do this. Okay. That's right, Mikael. Do you see this, Mikael? I'm gonna cry. Mmm, <laughs> this is gonna be shit. This clip's gonna fuck me up. If there's anything that I've learned from Scum, it's like, the more peaceful the clip is in the beginning, the more that it's gonna murder you in the end. <laughs> Sana keeps looking over her shoulder like you know who she's looking for. Where's he going? Hold on, let's watch that again. Okay, here we go. Yusef. That's Elias. That's that's Adam. Where's Mikael? I mean, but this seems gone as well. Is, but why are they looking outside? I know that all of these questions can simply be answered if I just press play. But my heart is beating so fucking fast. Do you understand? I'm thinking all of these horrible things. Where are you, Mikael? Why aren't you with your friend group? You knew it. You knew it. Your other friends knew too, and they didn't say anything. Elias, I'm the group. Oh no, I had to pause. Oh no, something happened. You guys! Before Sana goes out there. <laughs> oh no, it's not your fault, baby. It's not your fault. Now she's washing the blood off of her hands. Mm hmm. You know, it's actually not your 
Nej, men det I'm so mad. I fuck. I knew it. I knew it. That bitch. Where is Yusef? What are you doing? Anyway, I'm gonna try to edit this video, get it out sometime next week during the hiatus. Bye!